Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah Beckwell and today I am really excited to be bringing you an announcement. And this is a readathon hosted by Crystal from Books Forever After. There is a bunch of other co-hosts too. So the co-hosts are going to be Mama Needs to Read Romance, Maggie's Books and Stuff, Tara Talks Books, and Pardon This Book Addict. And then obviously me as well. This is a historical romance themed readathon. Honestly, it's come at a perfect time for me. <laughs> I have been reading so much um, horror and, I don't know, weird books lately that have really kind of put me into a weird funk. A lot of really good books, but I'm definitely, definitely hankering for some romance. I need some romance in my life, so this is the perfect timing. Also, I just want to say, sorry, I'm filming this at night, so if the lighting's a little bit off, that is why we've had a long weekend, but I really wanted to be able to get this announcement up for you guys because I just... I want everyone to participate. I'm really, really excited for this. I love readathons. You guys already know this. I host readathons all the time and I love to participate in them. So I'm just really beyond excited to have another one coming up in May. And this is just gonna be so much fun. There's a Discord, there's gonna be reading sprints, there's a bingo board, there might even be prizes. Um, so make sure you submit those bingo boards as well. All that information is gonna be on Crystal's channel. So make sure you check all of that out. There's gonna be an FAQ and all of that on the Discord as well. I will also have that linked down below in the description. There are two different bingo boards. There's a board that has like nine spaces and a board that has 16 spaces. But what's really cool is it's like blank bingo boards. So you get to fill in your prompts based on her list of prompts. You get to choose what you want to do. And she's actually got some awesome prompts on here too that are kind of really easy. I, I think, I think they're easy, kind of like easy prompts, but um, I'm just going to go through them with you really quick. Um, one is to read one of Crystal's favorites. One is to read a book set in Hawaii, Portugal, Spain, or Puerto Rico. One is to read a Cinderella or Beauty and the Beast retelling. Another one is to read a book that has Ever After in the title. There's actually like a lot of historical romances that actually have that in there. I'm sure tons of the hosts and then hopefully me eventually too will have some recommendation videos up for you just to give you guys some ideas of what books you can read for these prompts. Another one is a dark historical romance. Um, I have a whole series I really want to get into called the Maiden Lane series that I'm kind of thinking about for that prompt. On the second page of prompts, we have Second Chance, Governess, a Pirate Romance. I have a million pirate romances on my TBR. Time Travel, Grumpy Broody Hero. I love a grumpy broody hero. BIPOC author or an indie author. And then the third page, we have Audiobook, Novella, Clinch Cover. I have a few of those. <laughs> um, underrated means less than 2,000 reviews. Read a book because of the step back that's easy. Published before the year 2000 and a new release, which is anything in the last, well, is that two years, three years, anything from 2022 to 2024. My mic stand keeps getting pushed by my cat. Um, anyway, so we actually have a list of Crystal's favorites. Um, I'll pop them up right here. One of those you can double up because I see the Highwaymen's on here and Sea of Ruin. Sea of Ruin you can use for a dark romance, Crystal's favorite, and you can use it as a pirate romance just an example. So yeah, you can actually triple up these prompts, which is really cool. Though keep in mind for these bingo cards, you have to use a certain amount from each list of um, prompts. So there's three different lists of prompts. So you have to use three on each list, at least for the nine spot bingo board. And then for the 16 spot bingo board, it's four. So that way it's kind of like even amongst all of the types of prompts. So anyway, the graphics for this readathon are super cute. I'm really excited for everyone who's co-hosting and participating so far. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you join us. I cannot wait. I have been saying repeatedly over the last couple months, I really want to get back into historical romance. It's been a few months and I just have a hankering. I have a hankering, but I want to hold off. I need to hold off because if I start reading a whole bunch right now, then I'm going to like try to like 
I'm gonna wear myself out before the readathon begins. So I'm trying to hold myself off a little bit, but I am very, very excited. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you join me. Comment down below and let me know what you're excited to read for this readathon. Let me know if you have any recommendations for any of these prompts too. I'm sure a lot of people would love to see those. And make sure, go check out Crystal's video, her announcement video in her channel. She's gonna have all the detailed information and then you can subscribe to her and then check out all of the links that we're both going to have as well, including the Discord and the prompts and all that good stuff. So make sure to check out all the other co-hosts too. They have wonderful, lovely channels with lots of really good book recs, especially romance book recs. I hope you guys like this video. I know it was a short one, but I really wanted to get this announcement out here so that you guys could prepare and plan your TBRs and we can all do all the fun chatting in the Discord and just all the fun things that make a readathon fun. Oh, I also forgot to mention too, this readathon is especially exciting because it's also in celebration of Crystal's birthday. So we are going to be doing special birthday print sprints for her too. And I think she even kind of said like the theme of the readathon is like, it's my birthday, I'll swoon if I want to, which I think is super, super cute. Anyway, um, so I will just see you guys soon in my next video coming up. I have a bunch of fun ones planned. I already mentioned too, if you follow my community page, I have nixed my reading the lowest books on my Goodreads TBR because those books actually triggered me awfully. And I just can't, I can't even talk about one of the books that I read. I just can't do it. Follow me on Goodreads, you'll see, you'll see which one triggered the crap out of me. Um, but I, I can't do it, so I have totally nixed that vlog, but you will be seeing some fun videos coming up from me. I want to do a bookshelf tour soon. I've got some other TBRs that I wanna do, a five star predictions video, just a lot of fun stuff. So stick around, subscribe if you haven't already, click the notification bell, and that way you can be notified every time I post new videos. Until next time, fellow readers, keep reading and living your best life.